This place is absolutely massive. The echo in this room is crazy. Oh my God, look how high we are. There's something in those bushes over there. Something big. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. So, me and Lee have just arrived at the location which is Pystock. Now, Pystock was a jet engine testing facility place where they developed, I think it was the V-Bomber, the Harrier, the Tornado and also the Concord's engines. And the Concord's engines could actually be tested up to 2,000 miles an hour here. It's pretty impressive. I will link all of the information about the old site in the description below. Right now we're going to go find a way in and show you guys what's left inside this incredible site. So we're just making our way down to the building. Um, Lee, did you hear that? Oh, something in those bushes over there. Something big. What? I can't see anything though. Maybe it's a velociraptor. <laughs> It, there's definitely something in there. Oh, what is it? It's a cow. <laughs> there is a cow in the middle of the bushes. What? Why is there a cow in the bushes? Oh, we see me. Hello, mate. What are you doing here? He's like, I'm eating my dinner. What are you doing here? How random. Oh well. Didn't expect to see that. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to walk in that then. <laughs> so this is convenient. Mother Nature has helped us find a way in today. I'm just glad I put my climbing shoes on. Okay, so this is where our James Bond tactical skills come into play. And you can see the fence has all been blown down or kicked down and nobody's bothered to put it back up again, which is really strange. And I can see an open door just there, but I think the flight of stairs have actually been removed. So we may have to find another way. But we're almost there. big the site used to be it's absolutely massive there's still another building over there as well I'm not sure what that is I think we found a way in okay so we're just approaching the main building now and we still need to find a way in I'm thinking go that way because we're um kind of hidden from the front of the site and I think that's where the security man may be actually are we able to climb over that no, definitely not. That's a shame because there is an open door up there. But like I thought, they've actually removed the staircase. I'm 
We're not defeated yet. Just have to be patient and keep looking. Okay, so there is one bit that we can go and check out first, which seems to be some kind of old control room. It could be like an electrical room actually. Ooh. It looks like a lot of the wires have been taken out. There's still a few fuses in there, but the majority of it has been removed. Obviously, cable is very expensive in the scrap world. Someone's definitely been busy in here. There's still a key in that one. Okay, let's keep looking. What's that? I just heard a beep. I don't know if you guys heard that on the video. But something definitely just beeped in here then. That's weird. It's still alive. Yeah, there you go. Is it a smoke alarm? No, this is a sensor. Oh, it's there, it's that. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we <laughs> okay, so Lee has just found an open window conveniently hidden behind this door, which is quite handy. Oh, might have to blow that bit out, mate. <laughs> I think he just said there's nothing to hold on to. Now I've got to try and do it with a bag on me back. That's it. It's dark in here, isn't it? Jesus, pitch black. Oh God. Wow. The silence is deafening, it really is. Right, let's go and check this place out. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a load of insulation packed into the walls. This was obviously to stop the sound of the engines being heard from the outside. Because as you all know, jet engines are extremely loud. Especially the ones that are in Concord. Rolls-Royce Olympus engines, or Olympic engines, I think they were called. Oh, you can hear a pin drop in here, couldn't you? And we've got an old newspaper here, look. That's from September 2006. Wow. Oh, they're huge, aren't they? It's just basically a massive sound box, isn't it? It's like we're walking inside a huge subwoofer. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure what they are there, but they look very jet engine related. We can get inside and have a closer look. Now I know a lot of these were made from um, different metal types. Some of them have got, uh, oh, was it titanium? Oh, what's the other one they used in them? I can't remember. Guys, if you know exactly what metal this, this could potentially be, I'm pretty sure that titanium was a popular material used on these type of engines and the, the exhaust, the ducting, everything that goes with it. But if you know exactly what it is, just drop it in the comments below. Okay, so I think it's quite obvious that we need to walk to the top of these stairs in here to get to the main part of the building. Well, they feel pretty solid, which is peace of mind. <laughs> but it's actually quite high, it's higher than you think. 
My goodness me. I cannot believe how big that is. I mean, you could quite easily drive an Arctic lorry through the centre of that and it wouldn't even touch the sides. It is absolutely massive. Lee, go and stand next to it quickly, just so I can show the guys how big this actually is. My goodness me. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can get over to the other side. Can we walk under it? No, I don't think we can, can we? We're gonna have to climb up inside it. Oh, I'm just gonna put the camera down. Somehow. Oh, you need some upper body strength for that. <laughs> Do you want a hand out of anything? No, should be all right. You'll be alright, yeah? Should be. should be. We'll soon hear him if he's not. Whoa. This is incredible. I don't know if you can see, but on the walls here, you've got all of this like foam stuff, which was obviously designed to stop the, the sound of these engines actually you know, escaping the building, if you like. Now, I have also just noticed that we are quite high and I'm not sure how we're going to get down yet. This is obviously extremely high. It looks as if somebody's actually made a like a makeshift ramp. <laughs> Even so, it's still pretty damn high. Goodness me. That is one big room, isn't it? I don't know if you're gonna be able to appreciate it on the camera just how big this room is, but it is pretty impressive, it really is. I know there's an old CCTV camera up on the wall out there. Cool, I wouldn't fancy climbing that ladder to get up to it to work on it, would you? Why are there crosses on the ceiling? Crosses? Yeah, there, look. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they're going to blow this place up. Maybe. Of course, I hope they haven't already put it in there. Well, you did... <laughs> I was going to say, you'd have to use a cherry picker, but it'd have to be one big cherry picker to get up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to attempt to get down. Lee, if you can maybe stay there, yeah. just so I can get a shot of you standing up there. Now, I'm hoping we're going to be able to find another way out, because I don't fancy climbing back up here again, but um, if we have to, we have to. So, let's have a go at getting down. Right, guys, it appears the only way to get down is by holding on to this bar, <laughs> being a little bit brave, and somehow twisting myself around. I'm putting all my faith in that bar at the moment. There we go. Now, that is a little bit scary because this does move quite a bit. <laughs> Right, if I leave that torch there, Lee, mm -hmm. I'll get down and I'll just get a shot of you standing up in the middle of that because that looks really, really, really cool. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. This is sketchy. Oh, my God. You know, I'll give it to whoever's made this because it does the job. Ooh. Oh my god, it looks even bigger from down here. It's huge. Wow. <laughs> this is incredible, it really is. I would have loved to have seen the whole site when it was still here. There were some really, really interesting things here. I'm hoping I'll be able to find something on the internet and then link it in the description below.
There is a door there with some light shining through, but I don't think we're going to be able to get out of there. Because it looks to me as if it's been barricaded from the outside. It has. Okay. <laughs> I still can't get over how big that is. Let me get a closer look at this here. So it's all like insulation and it's obviously shaped and designed to stop sound obviously escaping the building. Like I say, you can hear a pin drop in here. So what have we got here? We've got a, a door which leads somewhere. Go and check this out. So let's see where this goes. There is actually daylight shining through from somewhere. Okay, we have got a couple of holes which have been, ooh, pigeons. Loads of pigeons. Um, I don't know whether we're gonna be able to get out of there or not. Let's have a quick look. Please don't crap on my head. I'll bring some crisps next time for you. Ugh. I hate the sound of bird crap. Oh, my God. No, that door is completely barricaded. We'll peek outside. It's very close to where we actually came in over there, but we had to walk around the whole site before we could find a way in. Jesus, there's pigeons everywhere in here. Oh. Right, get out of here before one of them decides to do a doo-doo on me. Okay, we've got another little room here. It's not a very big room. There's lots of cables on the floor. Obviously very, very important once upon a time. Haven't got a clue what they would have done. Some more bits and pieces hidden around the corner. Some brackets, an empty shoe box, spare bits of foam. I've got a key still in this one. And it's empty. Pretty sure this site closed in 2000, which is obviously 20 years ago now. Um, I'm not sure when the majority of it was pulled down. I think it may have been around 2003, 2006, something like that. So this is the, well, I'm not sure if that other building's got anything in. We will go and have a look before we go, but I'm pretty sure this is the only decent standing building left of Pie Stock now. I'm pretty sure Pie Stock was possibly the biggest jet engine testing facility in the world. Crikey, where's all that come from? I don't think it's falling from the ceiling. I'm not even sure why they've actually left this building. You know, they've actually torn down the whole site and just left this one. It looks like they've had a partial collapse here. So I wouldn't fancy one of them falling on me. I know it is mostly insulation, but they are still pretty heavy. That would definitely, definitely hurt if it landed on your head. I think we've got like a, a doorway or something up there. Maybe that's what happened. Somebody tried climbing up to get up there and they fell down. <laughs> oh, that would have hurt. Well, yeah, that's obviously what happened to the hard hat they were wearing. <laughs> I've just noticed there's another door there, but um, 
Again, there's there's no point in me even going out there to have a look. I'm not getting out that way. Wow. Very impressive, I must say. I wonder where they got all that foam from. <laughs> it is a lot, yeah. Ah, what's that over there? We've got a couple more doors, which are, um, oh no, it's just one door. I bet you any money, it won't open that, nope. Got another sensor there, it's obviously an old one, it's not working. Although, we did hear beeping up in the first room we went in. So maybe that one does still work. Hey guys, well I've been enjoying myself down here. Paul Lee's been waiting up there for me to help him down. <laughs> I'll be honest, I forgot about you a little bit. Oh, well, I'm gonna help lead down. So if you hold on to that with your left hand, turn yourself around, hold on to that bit with your right hand, and then have faith in what I'm standing on, because although it is a bit wobbly, it's pretty sturdy. Is there a beam like right below my foot? No, you've got about a foot and a half. So have faith in what you're holding on to. <laughs> that's it, that's it, keep going. Half a foot, you're almost there. That's it. Well done. Right, well, I'm getting off this before it goes with both of us on there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I heard it. <laughs> you're all right, you're all right. Hey. Right guys, we're just going to get some pictures done and then we're going to head back out and then we're going to check out the other site. I've just noticed this scissor lift, which is in the centre of the room. I'm guessing it would have gave them access to whatever used to be up there. Controls here. I've got rays. I'm guessing that would have been lower. Emergency stop. Power on. Power off. Imagine that. <laughs> right, guys, we are done. <laughs> The floor is so soft. <laughs> <laughs> right, time to go. Lee, you don't like heights, do you? Mm. You don't like heights, do you? Ooh. That is a long way down. Right, it looks like straight forward. Ooh. Go on, be brave. Be I brave. See oh, that is actually quite scary, isn't it? All right, let's go. Oh, it feels like it's moving. You're like me, you get to a certain height and then all the nerves relax. So we were just walking around the other side of the building. We came across another door, which has led us to this room, which has got these huge fans in. I don't think you're going to be able to appreciate this. Oh my God, there's some pigeons out there. I didn't even see them. Um, these these fans are, I would say, about the size of a Mini. You could quite easily get a Mini through that. No difficulty whatsoever. I don't think there's much else in here, but I'm going to have a quick look around. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Wow, that sounds crazy. Guys, I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but when I stamp on the floor, the echo is phenomenal, it really is. 
This must have been one noisy place when it was running. I don't know if they're like extractor fans, maybe. It's quite a big room. And there is a staircase here. I'm just gonna have a quick look and see if this door leads in. I'm pretty sure it leads to where we were earlier. But no, I can see actually there's nails keeping this door very securely tight. Okay, right, get back outside. Let's see what else we can find here. Okay guys, so we've just found another staircase which takes us down into a, another area, another room. Wow. Oh, Lee, look at this, like loads of spares. Oh. Obviously all gas turbine related. But I haven't got a clue what they are. This is really, really cool. Do you know what, for how thick that is, it is extremely light. It makes me wonder whether it is actually titanium. Obviously some kind of an exhaust. I've just noticed there's a newspaper there actually, look. Let's just have a quick, hang on, two secs. 2003. Got loads of nuts and bolts in there, gaskets. I'm not sure what this mesh was. Some kind of alloy. Where are you? Oh. Huh? Is there really? There's a few more bits and pieces on this table. Oh, got a bit of a flood in here. Oh, I've got wet socks now. So Lee reckons he's found a spiral staircase. How high does it go? Does it? Oh god, it does, doesn't it? Oh my goodness me. Are we going for it? Ooh. Okay, so we made it to the top. Oh wow, look at this. This is unreal. I can't believe all this is still here. Check that out. That is incredible. So this is the top of the big room. I don't know if you can see right through there. That's where we were earlier. You can't see it on the camera. Um, but we are actually at the top of that part now. Look at the view here. You can see how big this site used to be. Absolutely incredible. Oh, is that a big drop? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Ooh. <laughs> Look at all this high pressured hose here. God. Does it go to a dead end? Oh, fuck me. I'll scare you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We have now climbed as high as we can go on the inside of this building. At the moment, we are actually stood on the top of this exhaust housing, which was for the main chamber where we were earlier. Now, I know what's on the other side of that, and so does Lee. You can just about see the crane, which we saw while we were in there. And we are now at the very, very top of this room. Oh, I'm a little bit scared, if I'm honest. Oh. Right now, I'm definitely, definitely not going to be climbing up to the top edge of this, but 
Wow, oh my God. That is unreal. Just look how high we are. I can't even see the bottom. Wow. <laughs> that is a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that is a very, very long way down. Oh God, right. Look at this, there's brand new valves in there which have never been used and probably never will. Right, we're gonna head back down now on this very, very narrow staircase. You can see how high we are. Oh God, this is really, really awkward. So I'm carrying a camera, I've got a bag on my back and a torch in my hand. Oh, and I'm just about fit. <laughs> Think how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Back. 17 stone, was it? Yeah, 18. <laughs> oh, look, I've just noticed that's that door we nearly fell through. All the way out there. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a quick look at the other building just to see if we can get in there or not. I don't think we're going to be able to, but we're going to have a look while we're here. And then I think we're going to make a move. That was by far one of the most impressive buildings I've ever explored. I mean, that doesn't even look that big, that hole now, but it was absolutely massive when you're out there. Crazy. Well, guys, we've just walked around the other building, but sadly we couldn't find a way into that one. We don't think it's anything related to the original pie stop building. It, it does appear that some of it's still being used. Uh, there's new bins outside, etc. So sadly, we couldn't get into that one. But we have managed to have a look around the very last building of pie stock, the famous pie stock. So I'm really pleased we managed to do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page and the Instagram with the 10 best pictures that I've got from here today. And we'll see you on the next Explore soon.